Well, that didn't go to plan, but when does it ever go to plan here on WAUK, eh? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wilderness Adventures UK. I'll be speed today. Uh, I don't know who you want to be, but I'm going to be speed. Uh, basically, you've joined me today. We've come to a little bit of a camp out. Meant to be four of us, but we've got some storms, back, backlash of storms coming over from America at the moment. So it's been threatening to rain here. It's not currently raining. Uh, winds starting to pick up. We're, we're uh, told that tonight is going to be 80 mile an hour winds. So I'll take you for a quick look around the camp and show you what we've set up in a second. Um, but just so you all know, I've checked for Widowmakers. We're out of the footprint of that big oak tree just here. We're just outside the footprint and the wind is kind of blowing that way. So if anything is going to come off, it's kind of hopefully going to come in that direction. Um, also, we've got this big woodland just behind us here, this big stretch of woodland. Uh, we tried to just get somewhere sheltered really because when you're, when you're out in the open fields, it is really, really windy. Anyway, I'll take you to the... Um, oh, I'm not going to walk off the bloody cliff face which I'll show you in a second cliff face rock face um, but I'll take you for a quick look around the camp show you around the vehicles got a few videos planned for this weekend that's that thing I was just stood on to film that there but uh, I'll take you for a quick look around the camp show you what we've set up show you how we've lashed it all down I don't know what that is by the way but it's there I think if that tree goes it's gonna crush that so I'm gonna try and catch it on camera which will be brilliant anyway here's Land Rover You'll remember this one for some of my earlier videos. But there is the series. This is the idiot that bought it off me, just here. This is Richard. Um, and this is kind of what we've sorted. Let me just flip the camera around, hopefully you can still hear me. But there you go, you can see the poles just there. And we've lashed ratchet straps to the rock sliders of both vehicles, just to make sure this cannot move. We've got the oil lanterns that you've seen in a previous video. Uh, we've got my little log burner. Uh, basically, one of the videos that I'm planning... Oh, let the light adjust. One of the videos that I'm planning is going to be uh, the contents of the trailer. So things like my little wood burner down here um, and other things that I have in the trailer, you will be able to see. Anyway, I'm going to crack on now. You've had a quick look around the camp. Hopefully we're going to make it through the night and we're not going to die due to falling trees, I hope. Um, and I'll fetch you back either later tonight if anything interesting happens or tomorrow when the weather's calmed down. Hopefully a couple of people who are meant to be coming are going to turn up later. If not, all the best guys, no worries. We'll see you next time. Good morning everyone, day after. Look how clear this bloody sky is today. So last night after uh, I filmed that little sketch, if you will, um, the weather rapidly deteriorated. We had sideways rain, uh, it was coming down at quite a pace and uh, the wind picked up so uh, we, we were actually in bed for about half past eight. Um, Rick's bedded down, he's actually still in, his, still in his car. If I take you over to the Land Rover, he's managed to get a bed between the seats of the little series and he's, uh, you can probably just see him in the window just there. He's still uh, led down in there and uh, I did my usual lying in the trailer bit. Uh, the wind was, was that ferocious that it was actually shaking the trailer. Sorry, I've come under here and it's gone a little bit dark. Um, the owner of the uh, campsite has basically come over to us uh, just before it all sort of kicked off last night and uh, asked us to move for today because our smoke was blowing in the direction of the little pod which is just there over my right shoulder. Um, so that's what we're on with this morning. We're going to have a quick coffee, we're going to wake up, uh, open our eyes properly and then we're going to move to, uh, I don't know if you can see that van just there, just around the corner there's like a little cove if you will and we're going to move around into that cove um, just out of the way. Um, the unfortunate thing is, is the wind's going to be blowing the trees towards us. So uh, wish us luck. It's not the ideal thing, but I want somewhere quite secluded and everywhere else on this site. Um, it's quite open. Uh, if we're somewhere so quite secluded, we can just crack on with our videos and filming shenanigans and stuff with uh, nobody interrupting. But uh, yeah, that's what we're on with. Kettle's on. I'll walk around the side of the series and I'll show you the kitchen. Oh, also, I need a massive sort out. I've got a couple more videos planned that I want to do while I'm at this site. But... Uh, the kitchen come on light work work uh, that's it if you look at the kitchen it looks like a bomb's hit it that's after dinner last night we just started drinking and we just dumped everything in here so um yeah that's another job i need to do i'm gonna rip out all the cupboards basically and just just reorganize it make it look a lot lot tidier um but for now coffee's on the go 
gonna get that done and then start thinking about not even packing down just gonna handball and walk the stuff around the corner to be fair hook up the trailer and just drag it around I'm going to quickly press stop for a few seconds while we just tidy up a little bit more mainly because uh, I'm not sure I've got enough sunlight to charge the battery of the camera. I've got two batteries with me but I don't want to run right down. Now this is what the inside of the camp's looking like. Uh, we're just battening down the hatches, ready for some more wind and ready for some more stormy weather tonight. I'm just going to get the other camera and pop it just over there because this one's having problems metering for the light because um, the sun's out just over the back of the trailer. It's uh, causing a few problems with the old cameraage. So uh, I'll get another one out, pop it over there and uh, sit, see if it can pick up the light better. And then obviously I'll edit it in and I don't know, wave my hands around a lot or something, I don't know. So here's the footage of what the cam's looking like. We're right in the tree line. I'll go over the back now and I'll show you what it looks like from the back. But uh, yeah, basically, this is what we look like from the front. We're going to move the fire pits in a little bit. Uh, we found out last night that we can actually have the fire pit basically between the wheels of both Land Rovers, um, sort of just forward a bit from where it is. And it works absolutely perfect. It doesn't overheat the cars. As long as you haven't got a roaring fire, you're absolutely fine. But obviously, I'll just walk you around here. This is my muddy machine. We're still very much putting all the gear out, so you'll have to excuse the mess. Uh, I need to take that tube off my roof. That tube's got very soggy in the weather last night, if you can see that. Uh, all that's in there is a spare uh, square tubular bar for the awning. So that bar there, that's just a spare one that I carry just in case I knew it was going to be stormy basically. So I wanted to prepare just in case the wind caught one and snapped it. I've got a spare with me. But there's the very messy kitchen as you saw some footage earlier on in the video hopefully. If I've managed to work it in. Uh, which I'm going to be sorting out very very soon. We just wanted to get settled. We've got a lot of stuff to set up today. Uh, Rick's basically got a job lot off a friend of uh, old tents and things. And uh, we want to, we don't know what's there and what's not there, so we want to go through and set them all up and just have a play with them. Right, I've finished sorting out the kitchen, which you can see behind me. I'll take you for a quick walkthrough and just show you how I've categorised it, how I've put it all together. Uh, as always, if you want to suggest other things that I should have that I haven't got, please feel free to do so. I'm always up for a bit of criticism or a bit of uh, information or, or, you know, maybe I've missed something really obvious to you that's not obvious to me. But uh, I'll flip my screen down and I'll take you a walkthrough. Can I just start by saying this area here is usually where my where my burner goes, which is just there, um, and, and my water bars is next to it. But as I say, my, my, my burner would usually go here. I've just left it out so I can open the drawers and just quickly show you around everything and how I really categorise everything. So, let's start off. This drawer is where the burner goes when we're in transit. I've got some spare, uh, spare gas canisters in there, and it's where my larger utensils go, uh, wooden spoons and such. Uh, I've also got some, some baby wipes just wedging everything in so it just doesn't smash about while I'm in transit. But as I say, that's my burner cupboard. This cupboard here, sorry, that's my burner drawer. This cupboard here is usually like what you'd have under your kitchen sink. So you've got all your cleaning products, uh, antibacterial wipes, some bleach in there, some antibacterial spray. I've also got my fire lighting stuff and my Trangier fuel. Um, also some dog biscuits and stuff in there as well. Um, but as I say, that, that's, that's like my under the kitchen ki sink kind of thing. And in fact, that's my kitchen sink. So it kind of works. Over on this side is cooking utensils. Uh, these are just put up here again, just so I can pull this drawer open. Because if you look, the milk is just a little bit too tall and I won't be able to. So they don't usually belong in there, but they're just in there for now. But that's, that's my, 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 my pots and pans. Uh, kettle goes in there when we're in transit. Frying pan, etc, etc. All my pots and pans and, and knives and forks and stuff go in there. So this drawer is all my dried food. I've got uh, super noodles, so quick easy snacks in, in this one. 
Uh, this one here, I can't bloody remember if I'm honest. So I'll open it and show you. Oh, I've got more snacks. I've got like a, so, some savoury rice and some boil in a bag, just flavoured rice, again for a quick snack. I've got some onions, I've got some lentils, I've got some dry pasta, uh, I've got some oats, I've got some rice, which is open because we had that last night with the chilli. Uh, I've got some dry beans as well, good for protein if you run out of meat. I've got some tinned fish that will slide out from this gap here, so I haven't got it up there. Um, and some, some barley mix. So that's all my dried food in there. Stuff that I really don't need to worry about. That I can just shut that and just top it up once in a blue moon when I use it. So up here I have all my tinned foods. So I've got tinned meat. So I've got spam and corned beef. I've got some tinned tuna around the back there. Uh, I've got some baked beans. I've got some tinned uh, chilli. And I've got some, some oxo cubes and such stuff. So if I'm going to make a soup, obviously, and I haven't got any meat left, I can flavour it and add some barley, add some pasta, add whatever I'm going to do and make a broth or a soup or a stew. And finally, I have condiments and uh, sugar, powdered milk uh, and everything like that, sauces and things on, on this shelf just here. Um, here's usually just the work prep uh, area. I had to buy a new chopping board because I forgot to bring my one out. That's going to be breakfast, which is why I'm doing this now quickly, because we're just about to have breakfast. Um, I might just film a little bit of that and put it in a different video. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm filming quite a lot of videos this weekend. I'm going to try and try and get four or five all mixed up together and put it all together for you to watch over the next few weeks. Good morning, everyone. So day or night two at the camp. Uh, absolutely wonderful night last night. Uh, had a few beers, had a good long chat as you do over the fire, uh, and then we had a visitor come to the uh, come to the camp. Uh, we heard something rifling through our bin, so we uh, we flew around the corner to where the bin was tied to the front of my Land Rover, and there was there was a fox there. And um, I'll put in a picture just here. And then as soon as, uh, as soon as soon as we approached it, I mean we we got within four foot of it. It, it was it was just so tame. Uh, that picture that I've just put up, Richard took on his phone. Uh, I tried to get a few pictures on this, but I just couldn't gather enough light. Uh, funny thing is, we were shining torches at it and just sat there. Anyway, fun night. Uh, actually went to bed about eleven o'clock, I think it was. Uh, left the fire burning. Left one of the lanterns on. The lantern's still on, which is brilliant. Uh, I'll show you my view quickly from outside of the trailer because it's absolutely beautiful this morning. Whoa. Look at that. Facing the woodland. And we've got Richard just there, just, just up as well. So I'll, I'll fetch you back. Uh, today's plans, I think, I'm going to quickly get up. I'm going to uh, start the Land Rover and make a coffee now, get dressed obviously, and um, yeah, we're going to play with the contents of, of Richard's Richard's uh, Land Rover. Basically, he's, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned already or if I'm going to end up cutting the footage, so I'll, so I'll repeat myself just for a second, but um, Richard got a job lot of, of tents and awnings and things. Uh, I did start filming, I was trying to, to erect, good word, uh, awning this yesterday but there just seemed to be poles missing so now he's got two quite large tents i think one of them's a six man and one of them's an eight man so we're going to see what state there and see if all, all the bits are there so i'll try and get some footage um weather's holding out at the, mo at the moment richard's told me it's a little bit misty out um but but yeah that's that's what we're planning on doing having a bit of a play with that tidying camp maybe start packing up slightly um dinner tonight's going to be steak uh, dinner last night, I don't think I filmed any of it, but we had some um, roast chicken and jacket potatoes in the Dutch oven. Uh, tonight we're going to have some steak and um, asparagus and some green beans and maybe some boiled new potatoes or something. Um, so, so we have been eating quite well. Um, always do when I come away. I eat so, so much better than when I'm at home. Um, yeah, but I will uh, crack on, get up, uh, put kettle on, start Land Rover for a bit, and then I will fetch you back with a nice hot coffee in my hands no doubt right folks i will see you very shortly so maybe a bit of a change in plan today uh it's been raining ever since i got out of bed i've had my first coffee had a wash uh bathrooms here can you call them bathrooms the the, the amenities uh so clean i am going to take a few pictures and roll them in after this to be fair um it's such a well-kept campsite it's absolutely amazing here um, but it's been raining ever since we got out of bed, so Rick's cracking on with breakfast just there, and it looks divine to be fair. Check this out. I'll try and get in nice and close so you can see it. But he's made 
sausages, bacon and onion in there and he's just scrambling up some egg and it looks delicious. Um, so I'm looking forward to having a bit of that. That's going to be coming any second. I mean we've lit both fires, that fire's lit as well with a big log on top just smoking away gradually at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. I think it's going to be a relaxed day under the tarp. We've been talking about moving the camp around a little bit and putting an extra tarp up and just uh, kind of firing out some ideas and thoughts on how we could improve it and what we'd do different next time, which is always handy. It's always handy to have those discussions. But uh, yeah, um, you're going to have to stay tuned and uh, obviously when I've decided what we're going to be doing next, we'll roll it in after this. So everybody, last time you saw me was this morning I'd just woken up. Uh, it's now about four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, as you can see this rain has been relentless all day. The front of the Land Rover is soaking, uh, the side of the series absolutely drenched. Uh, so we've gradually started packing away with hope that there's going to be a break around sort of five, six o'clock and we can quickly down the awning and get off. So uh, we're just dousing all our ashes as you can see down here. We're letting this one go out, uh, trying to dry everything off as best we can and uh, I'm hoping to go home. But while we've been here, I mean it has been productive. Uh, I found a few more mods that I'm going to be doing to the trailer. Um, indeed one mod we've already done because it was raining that heavy before. Um, this wasn't here. And what we found is the rain was bouncing on that bit of roof and actually wetting us down here where our seats were, just down here. So what we did is we put some holes in the top of that and we've actually cable tied it right the way along. Let's see if we can get it in shot. Cable tied it right the way along. Uh, so it stops the rain bouncing. Uh, and it's worked a treat to be fair. But as I say, this rain has been absolutely relentless. So uh, we're going to um, call it, I'm not even going to bother going to Overland tomorrow because yeah, we've, we've been drenched. Uh, Rick's just been, you can see him walking across the field here. He's just been to get um, a bit more water so we can douse, douse a few more coals. But I say we've got another couple of hours here. We're going to uh, keep packing down just slowly but surely. And then we're, we're going to crack on. Um, I am going to do hopefully a video tomorrow. I'm going to have to go to the barn anyway so I can air the, air the, the, the uh, awning to dry. So, uh, so, so yeah, I'm going to do a, a little bit of video and, and kind of wrap up all this that's got on and uh, tell you about some plans that I've got. Alright guys, so I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I might work in some, some road trip footage, as it were, on the way home. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow at the barn. Right, so watch that space just there. I'm going to be out of breath when I come back. It's like magic. Well, that's hard work, getting around that corner just at the end where the caravan is. No easy feat. So, welcome back, guys. Today is the morning after the day before. Yesterday, you will have seen some footage just before this of us out in the field over in Gloucestershire near the Forest of Dean. Uh, I have mentioned the name of the campsite. It slips my mind right now. But, um, but yeah, torrential rain all day um, to the point of um, basically we got back in the cars and we were going to go to Rick's and cook up some steaks that I've got in the fridge. Um, and then head down to Overland Show today. Um, but as soon as I got in the Land Rover pulling off the field I noticed there was something wrong with the Land Rover. Uh, the clutch is misbehaving a little bit, the clutch pedal rather. Um, basically I have to pump it to get in gear. Uh, so I just pointed it north and I came home. Um, but you're not going to believe this. I mean, you can probably tell by the sun on my face already, but it's absolutely glorious here today. It is absolutely ridiculous. And there's the vehicle in question just there. It still drives all right, just I have to pump the clutch, like coming off a slip road or slowing down on the motorway to gear down. I have to pump it a few times. Uh, I will go to the garage tomorrow and check it out. Anyway, let the camera adjust, pick up my face again. There you go. Um, I've come down to the barn today just to open the trailer out, wipe everything down because it was very soggy when we put it away. Uh, and I'm going to open up the awning just there up on top and uh, air it a little bit. Just give it some air, dry it out.
A um, little bit of shame we had to cut the trip early, uh, c cut the trip short rather, um, and come home early um, because we had so much planned. I mean, Richard, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, I probably have. Uh, I filmed this now over a few days and I can't remember exactly what I've said. But uh, Richard has bought uh, a job lot of tents, um, awnings, uh, and other bits and bobs, camping equipment. But he doesn't know exactly what he's got. He got it at a good price, so I, I don't quite know how he got it. Um, and he doesn't know what's there. I mean, we tried setting up an awning, which I'll quickly put in a little bit of footage here of us looking very confused. And um, yes, uh, he doesn't know if all the bits are there or anything. So, so uh, I mean, our main objective was to go through all his gear and see if, if he's got any complete kit and then he could either sell or adapt or, or make something for, for his uh, series or, or whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, it didn't quite go according to plan. So a little bit disappointed that I've had to come home, but at the same time, I'm glad I've made it home um, because of the Land Rover. Anyway, I am going to finish this episode right here. Um, I'm going to do a few quick jobs on the trailer right now, clean it up, etc. Um, and I'm going to film the third, um, s third episode in the series of what I use. Um, and just to give you a sneak peek, I've started lining the stuff just here. Um, it's not going to be a, a complete episode uh, of one item. It's going to be the things I most use um, when I'm out camping. Uh, excluding the trailer obviously anyway guys thank you very much for joining me uh, i'm sorry the uh the video is is a bit mix mash uh, i tried to cram a lot into one video and i don't quite know how long it's going to uh how, how long the episode's going to be but i hope you enjoyed it um and uh, please as always leave comments below like share subscribe do all that good stuff help me grow the channel a little bit more um also up in the banner right in the bottom corner there's a link to my instagram um you'll always see pictures on there um of, of stuff i've done on my phone um when i'm out and i haven't got the camera in my hand or to hand um anyway folks lovely having you along and uh, hopefully there'll be another camping video very soon take care everyone